Hello friends. Welcome to my new NetBeans IDE tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to integrate NetBeans with a third-party relational database. Moving ahead. NetBeans is an integrated development environment for developing Java applications. In order to develop enterprise web applications in NetBeans, it is required to integrate NetBeans with a third-party relational database such as Oracle, MySQL, HSQL DB, Java DB etc. In this tutorial I will teach you how to integrate NetBeans with HSQL DB relational database. The procedure is very similar for other RDBMS systems. This tutorial will provide you an idea how a relational database can be integrated with NetBeans. Friends, HSQL DB is an open source relational database, written in Java. In order to integrate it with NetBeans, let's first download and set up its environment. Go to Google. Type HSQL DB download. and go to link hsqldb.org. It opens home page for hsqldb website. There is a link provided for the latest stable version to download. Just click on it. It opens SourceForge site. Just click on download link and download the hsqldb on your machine. As, I have already downloaded it on my machine, I will skip this step. After download gets completed, go to folder where zip got downloaded. Extract the zip into a folder of your choice. After it gets extracted, just browse to the folder which contains lib and bin folder. In the lib folder, you will find hsqldb jar, which is the driver jar. Going back to parent folder, and opening bin folder. This folder contains the scripts for starting HSQL DB database. It also has a GUI based script. Just double click on run server bat file and run it. It starts HSQL DB database server on the local host. The command prompt also shows the port where it is running. Here, the port number is 9001. Let's go ahead and integrate it with NetBeans. Start NetBeans IDE. Go to Window menu in the menu bar and select Services. Go to Services tab. Open Databases list. Open Drivers folder. It has various drivers added to it. Let's add HSQL DB driver to it. Right click on Drivers and select New Driver. New JDBC driver dialog box gets open. It prompts us for the driver file. This driver file is present in the HSQL DB jar, which we downloaded with the database. Right click on add. Go to the location, where we have extracted the downloaded zip. Browse and open lib folder which contains the jar. The jar is by name hsqldb. Select it and click on open. 
you see the driver file has been added to dialog box. It has populated driver class and name of the relational database. Driver class fully qualified name is org.hsqldb.jdbc driver. Click OK. You can see a new entry gets created for HSQLDB relational database driver. In order to connect to already running database server, just right click on it and select connect using new connection wizard dialog box gets open it displays driver name as hsqldb server you can also provide username and password for connection just keep it blank below it asks us for the jdbc url hsqldb JDBC URL starts with JDBC colon HSQLDB colon HSQL colon and then it prompts us to enter host and port where relational database server is running. Just provide host as localhost because database server is currently running on your local machine. And provide port number as 9001, which we can see on command prompt. Move ahead and click on test connection to check whether connection is successful or not. Dialog box provides an info that connection succeeded. Click next. It asks us to choose database schema. These are optional steps, I just select information schema. And click on next. It then prompts us to choose name for connection. Keep it as it is and click finish. Thus, HSQLDB relational database has been successfully integrated with NetBeans IDE. Let's open connection we created for HSQLDB. Under Information Schema there are many tables. Let's move ahead and see how NetBeans provide support for inbuilt SQL Editor. Right click on any table, and select either View Data or Execute Command. It opens SQL Editor, on which you can fire your queries without going to actual database GUI. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to integrate NetBeans with a third-party relational database concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.